Old Latin, also known as Early Latin and Archaic Latin, refers to the Latin language in the period before 75 BC, i.e., before the age of Classical Latin. In New and Contemporary Latin, it is called Prisca Latinitas rather than Vetus Latina as the latter is used to refer to a set of biblical texts. The use of old, early, and archaic has been standard in publications of old Latin writings since at least the 18th century. The definition is not arbitrary but these terms refer to writings with spelling conventions and word forms not generally found in works written under the Roman Empire. This article presents some of the major differences. Philological constructs the Old Time language The concept of Old Latin is as old as the concept of Classical Latin, both dating to or at least as early as the late Roman Republic. In that time period Marcus Tullius Cicero, along with others, noted that the language he used every day, presumably the upper-class city Latin, included lexical items and phrases that were heirlooms from a previous time, which he called verborum vetustis prisca, translated as the old age, time of language, during the classical period, prisca latinitas. Prisca Latina and other expressions using the adjective always meant these remnants of a previous language, which, in the Roman philology, was taken to be much older in fact than it really was. Vera Prisci, old-time men, were the population of Latium before the foundation of Rome. The four Latins of Isidore in the late Latin period, when classical Latin was behind them, the Latin and Greek-speaking grammarians were faced with multiple phases, or styles, within the language. Isidore of Seville reports a classification scheme that had come into existence in all before his time. The four Latins. They were Prisca, spoken before the founding of Rome, when Janus and Saturn ruled Latium, to which he dated the Carmen Sol Air, Latina dated from the time of King Latinus, in which period he placed the laws of the Twelve Tables, Romana, essentially equal to Classical Latin, and Mixta, mixed, Classical Latin and Vulgar Latin, which is known today as Late Latin. The scheme persisted with little change for some thousand years after Isidore, a old Latin in 1874, John Wordsworth used this definition. By early Latin I understand Latin of the whole period of the Republic, which is separated very strikingly, both in tone and in outward form, from that of the Empire. Although the differences are striking and can be easily identified by Latin readers, they are not such as to cause a language barrier. Latin speakers of the Empire had no reported trouble understanding Old Latin, except for the few texts that must date from the time of the kings mainly songs. Thus, the laws of the Twelve Tables, which began the Republic, were comprehensible, but the Carmen Sol Air, probably written under Numa Pompilius, was not entirely an opinion concerning Old Latin, of a Roman man of letters in the Middle Republic, survives. The historian, Polybius, read the first treaty between Rome and Carthage which he says, dates from the consulship of Lucius Junius Brutus and Marcus Horatius. The first consuls after the expulsion of the kings, knowledge of the early consuls is somewhat obscure, but Polybius also states that the treaty was formulated 28 years after Xerxes I crossed into Greece, that is, in 452 BC, about the time of the Decemviri, when the constitution of the Roman Republic was being defined. Polybius says of the language of the treaty, the ancient Roman language differs so much from the modern that it can only be partially made out, and that after much application by the most intelligent men, there is no sharp distinction between Old Latin, as it was spoken for most of the Republic, and Classical Latin, but the earlier grades into the later. The end of the Republic was too late a termination for compilers after Wordsworth, Charles Edwin Bennett, said. Early Latin is necessarily a somewhat vague term. Bell, de locative I in Prisca Latinitate via USU, Press Law, 1889, sets the later limit at 75 BC. A definite date is really impossible, since archaic Latin does not terminate abruptly, but continues even down to imperial times. 
Bennett's own date of 100 BC did not prevail but rather Bell's 75 BC became the standard as expressed in the four-volume Loeb Library and other major compendia. Over the 377 years from 452 BC to 75 B, Old Latin evolved from being partially comprehensible by classicists with study to being easily read by scholars. Corpus Old Latin authored works began in the 3rd century BC. These are complete or nearly complete works under their own name surviving as manuscripts copied from other manuscripts in whatever script was current at the time. In addition are fragments of works quoted in other authors. Numerous inscriptions placed by various methods on their original media survive just as they were except for the ravages of time. Some of these were copied from other inscriptions. No inscription can be earlier than the introduction of the Greek alphabet into Italy but none survive from that early date. The imprecision of archaeological dating makes precise dates impossible but the earliest survivals are probably from the 6th century BC. Some of the texts, however, surviving as fragments in the works of classical authors, had to have been composed earlier than the Republic in the monarchy. These are listed below. Fragments and inscriptions Notable Old Latin fragments with estimated dates include the Carmen Solaire, the Prionus de Fibula, the Forum inscription, the Duenis inscription, the Castor Pollux dedication, the Garagliano Bowl, the Lapis Satricanis, the preserved fragments of the Laws of the Twelve Tables the Tiber pedestal, the Scipion Melodia epitaph of Lucius Cornelius Scipio Barbatus epitaph of Lucius Cornelius Scipio epitaph of Publius Cornelius Scipio P.F. P.N. Africanus, the Senatus Consultum de Bacchanale Biz, the Vase inscription from Ardia, the Corcula altar fragments, the Carmen Arvail, altar to the unknown divinity, Works of literature, the authors are as follows. Lucius Livius Andronicus, translator, founder of Roman drama. Neus Nevius, dramatist, epic poet. Titus Maxius Plautus, dramatist, composer of comedies. Quintus Ennius, poet. Marcus Pacuvius, tragic dramatist, poet. Statius Caesilius, comic dramatist. Publius Terentius Afa, comic dramatist. Quintus Fabius Picta, historian, Lucius Cincius Elementus, military historian, Marcius Porcius Cato, generalist, topical writer, Gaius Acilius, historian, Lucius Axius, tragic dramatist, philologist, Gaius Lucilius, satirist, Quintus Lutatius Catulus, public officer, epigrammatist, Aulus Furius Santius, poet, Gaius Julius Caesar Strabo Vopiscus, public officer, tragic dramatist, Lucius Pomponius Bononiensis, comic dramatist, satirist, Lucius Cassius Hemina, historian, Lucius Calpornius Piso Frugi, historian, Manius Manilius, public officer, jurist, Lucius Celius Antipater, jurist, historian, Publius Sempronius Atselio, military officer, historian, Gaius Sempronius Tuditanus, jurist, Lucius Afrinius, comic dramatist, Titus Albutius, orator, Publius Rutilius Rufus, jurist, Lucius Elius Stilo Precaninus, philologist, Quintus Claudius Quadrigarius, historian, Valerius Antius, historian, Lucius Cornelius Cicena, soldier, historian, Quintus Cornificius, rhetorician, script. Old Latin surviving in inscriptions is written in various forms of the Etruscan alphabet as it evolved into the Latin alphabet. The writing conventions varied by time and place until classical conventions prevailed. The works of authors in manuscript form were copied over into the scripts current in those later times. The original writing does not exist. Orthography. Some differences between Old and Classical Latin were of speaking only. Pronunciation is thought to be essentially as in Classical Latin. Single for double consonants. Marcellus for Marcellus. Double vowels for long vowels. 
AARA for ARA, Q for C before U, Pecnia for Pecunia, GS, Ks, XS for X, EG, Rex for Rex, Saxum for Saxum, C for G, Keys for Gaius. These differences did not necessarily run concurrently with each other and were not universal, that is, C was used for both C and G. Phonology Stress Old Latin had a strong stress on the first syllable of the word until about 250 BC. All syllables other than the first were unstressed and were subjected to greater amounts of phonological weakening. Starting around that year, the classical Latin stress system began to develop. It passed through at least one intermediate stage, found in Plautus, in which the stress occurred on the fourth last syllable in four-syllable words with entirely short syllables, vowels and diphthongs most original pi diphthongs were preserved in stressed syllables, including i, a, oi, ow. The old Latin diphthong a evolves in stages, a greater than e greater than i. The intermediate sound e was simply written e but must have been distinct from the normal long vowel e because the former subsequently merged with i, while the latter did not. It is generally thought that e was a higher sound than e. Even after the original vowel a had merged with i, the old spelling a continued to be used for a while, with the result that a came to stand for i and began to be used in the speaking of original occurrences of i that did not evolve from a. In unstressed syllables, asterisk oi and asterisk i had already merged into a by historic times. This eventually evolved to I according to the process described above. Old Latin often had different short vowels than classical Latin, reflecting sound changes that had not yet taken place. For example, the very early Juanus inscription has the form Juanus good, later found as Duonos and still later bonus. A countervailing change were greater than we occurred around 150 BC in certain contexts, and many earlier forms are found. Old Latin frequently preserves original pythomatic case endings os and om. Consonants into vocalic per second was preserved up through 350 BC or so, at which point it changed into r. This roticism had implications for declension. Early classical Latin, honus, honorus, later classical honor, honorus. Some old Latin texts preserve per second in this position, such as the Carmen Arvales lases for Lares. Later instances of per second are mostly due either to reduction of early SS after long vowels or diphthongs, borrowings, or late reconstructions. There are many unreduced clusters, e.g., umentum, losna less than asterisk, clausna less than asterisk, luxna, cosmos, silocum, acc. Early do, dw, becomes later b. Juanus greater than duonos greater than bonus, good, duis greater than bis, twice, duolum greater than bellum, or, final, d, occurred in ablatives and in third person secondary verbs.